Hello chess lovers, Surin here and in this video I want to share with you a brilliant chess miniature played by the 8th world chess champion Mikhail Tal. The name of his opponent is unknown and this game was played in 1987 in Buenos Aires. This was a chess simul played on 25 boards. Mikhail Tal loved simultaneous displays, which gave him an opportunity to travel, see places and meet people. The public adored him and for him chess was fun. Moreover, during simultaneous displays, he could play freely by generously sacrificing his pieces and avoiding boring positions. Now, let's see what happened in our game. Talet white pieces and he opened up with knight f3. This is how it goes. Usually the one who is giving a chess simul is playing with the white pieces. Black responded with knight f6 and we have c4, c5. We have the symmetrical English opening, g3. Tal is preparing to fianchetto his kingside bishop. And in return we have b6. Black also wants to bring his light squared bishop on the long diagonal, which can act as a nice counterbalance to white bishop. Here Tal castled kingside and g6. This time black is fianchettoing his kingside bishop. And in return we have b3, d5 by black. Another popular alternative is bishop g7. But in our game we have d5. c takes d5, bishop g7, bishop b2, black castles kingside. And d4, knight takes d5, queen d2. Actually, this position has been seen earlier in Mikhail Tal's game. In that game, Tal was playing with black pieces against Roberto Sifentes Parada. And in here, Tal moved back his knight on c7. And finally, that game ended up in a draw. But in this game, after queen d2, black played knight b4, which is an awkward square for the knight. And after a3, Black is forced to move his knight once again and lose a precious time. Knight c6 was played, we have d5 and bishop takes b2, which is a mistake. Instead of playing bishop takes b2, it was better to play knight d4. And now actually the players can go for several exchanges. And in the end of the day, we are going to see a drawish position. Yes, the players have equal chances and this is going to end up in a draw. But after d5, black played bishop b2. Tal played d takes c6 and after queen takes d2, Tal surprised his opponent. I guess black was hoping for knight b takes d2, after which black can recapture on c6 with the knight and if rook a2 then bishop g7 and black is simply a pawn up and has an advantage. But after queen takes d2, as I've already mentioned, Tal delivered a surprise and instead of recapturing, captured on b7. Yes, guys, this pawn is already threatening to step on the eighth rank by munching the black rook. Was this the pawn on d2 square? I guess it was. Already this is move 14 and from d2 square the pawn managed to reach the 7th rank. Queen d5 was played a desperate attempt and believe it or not but after knight h4 black resigned. Now if queen d7 then simply b8 queen and after bishop takes a1 if we have a look at the position white is a piece up and white is winning or after knight h4 if queen takes b7 then simply bishop takes b7 and again in the end of the day white has an extra piece that's why understanding that his position is lost after this devastating knight h4 move black resigned. In the end a chess puzzle for you where the task is to find the mating line for black. There is a checkmate in 5 and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. You can just name the mating pattern as well. Thanks for watching. In the end check out the playlist of Mikhail Tal's games as well. I will see you in my next video. Take care.